Today on the workbench, we have the Ewa TP31, made in Japan in 1960. I was told this tape recorder was totally dead. So let's give it some power and see what's going on. Well, that doesn't look very good. I see a ton of corrosion. Well, let's put batteries in and see what happens. Nothing. I'm hearing a slight pop on the speaker when I hit play, but nothing. So let's take it apart and take a look at what might not be working on the power supply here. You've got two very dirty tapes, uh, one dirty tape. I wonder what's on it. We'll soon know, maybe. Well, I think we got it open. Boy, that doesn't look good. This positive terminal is in such bad shape it's actually broken, so power from this second battery won't even go in. I think the right way is just to build a new one. What do you think? Is that going to make the motor move or not? It does. Let's get it attached. This negative battery connector is a real problem. It's just not getting enough juice through there. We're going to have to use another technique. I'm going to connect a wire between these two spring terminals and then connect this negatively to that and completely bypass uh, the corrosion in the back there. So let's get that done. Give this some power. Well, that must working. Should we try a tape in there? All right, let's test it out. We got the new power in. Let's see if there's anything gonna play. One minute later. Major progress. Now let's get these caps replaced. I see one, two, three, and I think that's a film cap. We'll take a look at that one too. Let's mark the position of the cap so we can keep track of their polarity. The film cap here doesn't have polarity, so it doesn't matter. I think it will go faster if we just mark ahead of time where the desoldering goes. Before we get started, I think I'll remove this black wire. That should give us a little more room. We got him. Looks like a five. Let's move on to the big guy.
There we go. Negative is to the right. One more electrolytic, and then we'll pull out the film cap. There's a ton of solder here. You got him. So the mark tells us where it was originally. We can see that the opposite is the negative lead. And we know the short lead is the negative lead. So that helps us put in the right one with the right polarity. Like that. So here's this film cap. I heard it can degrade. Let's take it out. Let's measure it. We're here to learn, so why not? And there he is. Well, I got the modern equivalent on the left and the one from 1960 on the right. And let's get the black wire reattached. Something that's fun to do is to see how far these electrolytic caps have moved over time. This is the 30. ESR 5, bad. This is the 5. <laughs> ESR over 40, really. Okay. Totally toast. How about this one? Similar to the other one. Not very good for a 30. And how did this film cap do after 65 years? Not too good. I'm glad I took it out. What do you think? Should we finish this project by changing out the speaker to a brand new modern one? Well, here's the new modern one. Size is perfect. Let's get him out. You know, our life might be a little easier if we just mount him in before doing all the soldering. Well, this red wire is too short to fit now because the um, polarity on the speaker is the opposite of what the other one was. So we're going to have to make this a little bit longer. That's not too hard. Well, the new one should be long enough.
Before we put the cover back on, let's clean this stuff up a bit. What a mess. This got all corroded too. I've never used one of these enamel silver markers before, but uh, let me know in the comments, do you think if it was worth doing or not? I built this little circuit board so I could connect this Bluetooth adapter directly into the microphone input. This has line level outputs, so all this does is attenuate the signal and mixes the left and right evenly and sends it out here. In the 1960s, these things could barely record voices, so the real torture test would be to try to record some music from the Bluetooth adapter. That should be interesting. Let's see what we got. Wow, that sounds better than I thought it would. Anyway, please subscribe. I'll be making more. And if you see something I missed, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.